And we're back with some more raft. And today, before we go on to our final mission, well, is it the final mission? Second final mission, maybe? Before we go on to Temperance, we've taken a quick back to detour to Caravan Town. Now, the reason we're going to Caravan Town, which is 2424, is it's got cluckers. And I have been advised I am going to need to get these chickens so they can get the eggs so that we can make a healing salve. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got one or two of these we picked up somewhere along the way in storage. Yeah, there we go. We got a good healing salve and a regular healing salve. So to make those, we need the eggs, and once we get those eggs, we can research them and produce them ourselves. So, looking at the wiki, the best place to find them, or well, maybe not the best place to find them, but a place to find them is Caravan Town, which we can just stick in the numbers here, takes us straight to them, and hopefully that should be fairly quick. Then we can get back to Temperance. Well, this place looks familiar. We'll be only hanging around for a short period of time. Oh, we'll have to kill that bird as well. All we're looking for is those chickens. That's it. Capture two or three chickens, hopefully. Well, two would be great. Three would be magnificent. Then we get out of here. Maybe a quick nap before we get there. Wonderful thing is, you can go to sleep, wake up at dawn, and your and your raft has just not moved. Not even a little bit. It's incredible. And where did all my food go? Not exactly the bird we were looking for, but it's a start. I think this is what we're looking for. That is ugly. Right, let's do this. Uh, we need to catch you somehow. Nope, stand still. Yeah, you just have to figure out their patrol path. Or... And then you just gotta get in front of them. Perfect. <sighs> and it's telling me that's a rare animal. God, what do you call something that ugly? The only name I could think of that was ugly enough to suit it was Taxes. Alright, Taxes, there you go. You can, uh... Is that all we need to do? Hmm. Maybe I need to build something else to make them lay eggs. I'll have to figure that out in a bit. But first, more birds. Well, hello there, clucker number two. Yep, oh, stand still. Gotcha. Well, buddy, time to take you home as well. Since this one's not nearly as ugly as the last one, we're just going to call them fresh linen. I mean, they're not... They're good, but they're not like... Super duper or anything. Fresh linen's always nice. I, I don't have to justify myself, okay? Uh, egg. Yes. That is perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for. I was wondering if we needed to build something for them to for the egg to pop out, like a nest or something. Or right, then that allows us to learn healing salve and good healing salve. You actually need to make them. Two eggs, one clay, six honeycomb. Well, that's good. We ran out of space for our honeycomb over there, so I've actually had to put in a whole new chest over here just to store all the honeycomb we've got. I think we're good, and clay-wise, yeah, I think we can make a, a dozen or so of those healing salves, and you know what? I think I'll wait till the morning before I go back in there. There's also some healing salve located in this caravan tent, which another reason to come here. Eggs for the cluckers for the eggs so that you can make the healing salve, and a little bit of spare healing salve lying around. Well, two cluckers was all we found. We also found a llama, but you know what? We're good on the llama front. We've got six. I think we'll be fine for now. I mean, you can never have too many, but it just was not worth the effort of carrying down. So, we're going to 4949 Temperance. Well, that's convenient. It's straight ahead. The weird thing is, every time you change this, it changes the spawn type. It's a... Uh, oh, how do I explain it? It's like a biome thing. So, for example, while we're set on the caravan section, we should be able to find islands that correspond to it. As in, they'll have chickens, they'll have llamas, they'll have certain types of, well, animals, fauna, plants, underwater stuff, all that type of thing. So, if you if you want to go back and find stuff that was on these islands, you can just put them in. And then any big islands that show up will also have stuff from that particular biome. So, now that we're on temperance, we should only find temperance biomes, which appear to be icy. Like, icy cold, which seems a bit odd, but, you know, we'll survive somehow. Before we get there, there is something I would like to take care of, and uh, that is set, well, fixing our water supply situation. Right now it's, um, well, it's incredibly ugly. We have the water coming from down there, it gets pumped up into this tank, and then it sort of goes all over the shop. This is messy. What I want to do is move this water tank downstairs. If we move the water tank, oop, nope, that's a bad jump. If we move the water tank down here, we can then stream the water from up here and it just takes one pipe. As it is, we've got two pipes confusing everything because this one's just providing to the storage tank. We don't want to draw off that, otherwise it puts undue pressure on the battery. So, yeah, give me a minute while I rejig this. This whole thing's moving downstairs. This was actually far less painful than I thought. We just ripped this out, turned it sideways. Uh, 
output goes in here. Then the output from that just goes right back into the pipe we had already just built. So, oh, uh, we're coming up on temperance. You know what? Let's just have a quick stop for a minute while we finish off our water management system. Now, that means this pipe comes up here, but that actually... We don't need that going over there anymore. What we can do is grab this. Uh, you can go. And hold on while I stop those engines. And yes, over here, instead of putting that sprinkler there, what if we just stuck it here? It should automatically connect to... Yeah, there we go. It's connected to that one at the back. Same jobby, same location, same everything. Excellent. And then... Ooh, let's go downstairs and plug this sucker in. Actually, before we plug it in, we fill it. You know what? No, no, no. We got plenty of water for now. In that case, you go in there. That starts up. That starts filling our water tank. So that sprinkles there. Then we can rip out most of this. We don't need it. And instead, what we'll do is we shall just put a pipe right there. Done. That is so much cleaner. That means we can get rid of this whole mess up here. That can all go. Bye-bye. You know, if you just take some time to think about these things and read the comments and people's suggestions and they tell you how to make things cleaner because they've done this sort of stuff and they know what they're doing and you don't. All right, uh, let's mm, extend this on. I think we can just... Well, what I was thinking was, since we already have one sprinkler back there, why not just put the other sprinkler over here? We just... Ooh, eggs. Excellent. Turns out these eggs despawn after 10 minutes, but eh, shouldn't be an issue. And you can go ahead of there. We don't need you there. In fact, we're going to need you over here. Right. Hey, get out of the way. Perfect. There we go. Go. Pipes along the outside. All of this should get automatically watered now. Well, I can't stick a battery in it, but that's no problems. Damn it. Yeah, I'll get the, I'll harvest those seagulls later. This place looks like a large ice sheet that's going to be hard to get into. That's okay. We're built for this. We've got shorts in a t-shirt. But we've also got a top hat, and top hats are renowned for their insulation, so we'll be just fine, I'm sure. No major frostbite at all. Dear God. The game is a bit weird in that you see better out of the edge of your vision. For example, if you look straight ahead there, you can't really see much. But if you turn sideways, you can actually see the ice sheet that's approaching us. Huh. I think we'll just park up over there. Yeah, our ship's a little bit of a... Well, she's a bit of a wide one. But... She handles... Okay! Yeah, that should be... Ugh. Close enough, maybe? We might skim a little bit on the edges. God, it's like driving a truck. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. Now, let's just get downstairs and drop the anchor. Thankfully, you can't really damage your raft, as far as I'm aware, even if you run into stuff. And I would prefer not to dip into the ocean. Uh, yeah, there's... Perfect. Yep, yep, that's... Uh, that's exactly where you want it to be. And we'll just drop anchor right there. Cut engines, and maybe take a nap till morning. I mean, look at the insulation built into this. We will not wake up with any damage to our finger or toes, our extremities. Or we'll just, you know, n never wake up at all because we just feel warm and die. Ugh, I just noticed we're in our bare feet. Yep. Let's, uh, let's go for a walk. Ow, 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 ow. How are we not taking health damage yet? This feels so wrong. Okay, and I'm not even sure if getting off the ice is going to help us. The rest of the place is just ice. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out as we go. Oh, yeah, that just that just feels uncomfortable to look at. Nope, nope. Well, I'm getting Arctic base vibes from this. You can see like little shelters. Huh? What are you? Yep, there's a polar bear. I can tell it's a polar bear because it's white. <laughs> Learn that trick from the comments. You can fire arrows really fast if you just tap the fire button. It does the exact same amount of damage as if you wind it all back the whole way. It allows you to just turn an enemy into a pincushion. Not probably good for our bow durability doing that, but a uh, rapid fire, if you get up close, just b -b -b spam the fire button. Problem solved. What are you? Pick up electrical cable. Uh, what? This is... Okay, we're going to need that electrical cable for something, aren't we? We're probably going to have to do that three, two more times? Maybe four, actually. Ooh. 
Whoa. Seriously? Okay. Um. Yes, please. Okay, then. Yee-haw! <laughs> okay, that can't be good for the suspensions, but we don't care. Um. Right, nice pace you got here. Ooh. This thing slides around a wee bit. Ooh. Pretty sure we just did a handbrake there in a ski mobile. I'm not even sure that's possible. Oh, and there's another one here. Okay. Well then, danger. Start digging... Start dragging cable? Wait, what? I feel like I've missed out on stuff. Uh... Start dragging cable to where? Oh! Never mind, we've got two pieces of electrical cable now. Or is it four? I can't remember. That gives us two electrical cable. Right, now where are you supposed to go? Oh! Right! So... That's a thing. And let me guess, there's another one over here somewhere. Yep, there we go. And then where do you go? Oh. To over here. Huh. Okay then. I will say though that having to drag power cables to the front of your house just feels a bit strange. Maybe we can get in some exercise and that would probably warm us up, but no thank you. Is that... So we did all of that for this stuff? I mean, don't get me wrong. Coconut bead and silver smoothies sound delicious, but... Uh, don't really care. Okay then, so that was, um, something we did. There's another house over here. Can we reach it? Or is there limits on these cables? I presume there's a limit and we have to, like, yeah. So we can't use this one to open that one over there. However, we should probably, um, maybe remove some of these cables so we can reuse them. I understand. Okay, I figured that you have to actually drag the cable f on. As in, I was uh, trying to get it from there to there. I thought this was a dead end, but this is not a dead end. You can extend from this, so we just extended it on to the next one. And then we're going to have to keep extending it. We need a lot more electrical cable, it appears. And what have you got for us? Uh, probably nothing major. Scrap, copper, biofuel, the usual malarkey. Vending machine tokens. Wait a minute, I know what's going on here. Okay, let's keep going. I need to go find more electrical cable. We've already used four pieces. We're going to need a lot more than four. Right, so that means we need to find these thingies, which means we need to get back on our little ski mobile, ski doodle, whatever. And yeah, we need to find somewhere that's got more of this cable for us. So let's go exploring, shall we? Ooh. Actually, never mind. I should probably stop and check this place out first. What's that weird green glow? <coughs> right. That seems bad. We probably need some sort of suit or protective gear to get in there. Oh, or maybe we turn on need to turn on ventilation or something. And there's one of those towers. One of those towers usually has those wires attached to it, and if it's got those wires, we can strip it for parts. Yep, I can see him from here. Come here. Thank you. Kindly, that's two more wires, and I'm pretty sure there's another one of these behind us. Right over there. Wait, is that the one we just drove from? Uh, up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. Let's go for it. Whoa! Um... Oops. Didn't realize that was there. Well, that made it much easier to do, if you accidentally do it. Oh, great. Cooked beets. I mean, the potato I'm always happy for, but... This place does not seem to be overflowing with the uh, quality material. And um, we've pretty much, yeah, filled up our inventory. There appears to be nothing else up here, so... Let's go see if we can run over that polar bear. Don't worry, you're probably fine. You're probably fine. There you go. Perfect. 
Now, polar bear bowling. Nope, 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 damn it. This thing just handles so. Damn it, I tried to sideswipe him. It doesn't seem to aggro to us and run the ski mobile. So. Problem solved. <laughs> that ability to just absolutely pepper them with arrows so quickly is incredibly fun. All right, let's uh, strip out these parts and move on. There's another watchtower or another tower we can strip cabling out of. Have we already done this one. I mean, we do take a couple of scratches doing it, but I'm not going to wor worry about those. They heal. I'm guessing that one's got red lights, which means it's still active. Yep. That is an incredible parking job. Right beside where we needed it, too. And the lights go out on top. That's how you tell if there's cable at the bottom. The lights are red on top. That means you've got some stuff you can go grab. If the lights are uh, the lights are out, then you know you've already been there. Nice idea. Yeah, what was that? I thought I saw something in the corner of my eye. Yes, there is definitely lights over there. Huh? Let's go check it out. Oh, and that thing has red lights on top of it. Oh. That was impressive. That's six arrows in you. Okay, it takes seven. And so put in three or four arrows, dodge back, repeat, do that twice, and you've got it. You've got him down. Hey, stop moving. I would like to have a quick saunter in here and see what's going on. Ooh, notes. I've already lost Miranda. I will not lose you too, Henry. Signal far south. I know it's from my sister. There's no doubt. Henry is skeptical. He thinks the cold will be dangerous. I'm most scared of whatever's out there in the snowstorm. Right, that was the paranoid guy who's got split personalities, right? Ah, uh, great. Oh, this means we have to swim. Well, that's not great. Oh, yeah. That's not great at all at all. Well then, let's just stick on our flippers. Why not? And maybe dump some... Oh, I'm going to drink some of this trash. I have just noticed that our uh, our bow technique has drained our bow quite substantially. How you doing? Die, why don't you? Why will you not die? Well, that was awkward. I slashed it a whole bunch of times, but it refused to actually die. Can you die? Okay, so it definitely can. I think I'm going to have to get another bow. Alright, no. Oh, damn it. So I say we run past them. Much easier. Okay. And again, how are we not dead? This makes no sense. <laughs> I know, I know, this thing is not supposed to make sense, but still. Huh. Stash room? Lots of stuff? I'm okay with that. Let's check the notes. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detto. Says he came here with some survivors. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. Right. 
That guy gets creepier and crazier every time he talks, I suppose, is the term you want to use. Yeah, what you got upstairs? Where are they getting the power for this rig? I gotta imagine this place is... I mean, I know it's a cold place, but this has got to be keeping the place warm with that much hardware running. And you are a note. Excellent. We shall add you to the list of other notes. Okay, temperance. Uh, first note is a weird ball face with spikes out of it. Then we've got the hook. Oh, well, that's going to be relevant to some puzzle later on. And let's wait until we run into that puzzle, I suppose. What are you? The anchor eight. Pick up note. And then it's a... Oh, great. It's a safe. Um, we have to use these codes here to figure it out. So I have to figure out where those the boat is, the hook is, and whatever that is, and then find the number that's around them. Uh, I'll worry about it later. The spear is two. The anchor is eight. The boat is ready to go. Detto is ready with the air horn, and Ruben can at least walk. Henry is staying behind. It's bittersweet. He doesn't speak with me anymore, but I think it's safer for someone to stay behind. Detto says there's a place with lots of people. Ruben says Astrid might be there. She definitely isn't here in this cold place. It's nice talking to people. Yeah, that's just kind of sad. All right, uh, what do we got here? Okay, one, two, three, four. So, bird, face, hook, boat. And it's probably got something to do with these things. Bird is the seagull. Shark. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight stars in the anchor. There is two stars in the spear. So what we need to figure out... How many in the bird, face, hook, boat? No problems. Well, that looks like a bird to me, and that bird has seven stars in it, so the first number is seven? Then we gotta find whatever that angry face is. That might be the bear, I suppose. Could be the shark. Yeah, let's go with three. We'll try three first, anyway. That just leaves us with the hook and the boat. Now, I gotta imagine the boat is the anchor, because the boat's not gonna be the spear. Which means it's two eight seven three two eight, and yeah, let's guess. Nope, never mind. Well, that looks more like a hook to me. All right, so that's got six stars in it. All right, so the hook is actually six. Okay, okay, that there is looking like a boat to me. It's looking like there's the sail, from well, it's raft more like. Yeah, that does look like a raft, and that's got four stars in it. That's the spear. Okay, that's the angry face thing I've... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine in that? Nine for the angry face. And the bird should still be seven. So... Seven. Nine. Six. Four. God damn it. Right, that looks nothing like a seagull. That's That was my mistake. My mistake. That's not a seagull. But I'm thinking that's it. That kind of looks like it. Eh, we'll go with that. So 5964. Oh, damn it. Hit the wrong button. 5964. Ah. I should really edit all of that out. <laughs> Uh, the Slim Key, bunch of vending machine tokens, an advanced stationary anchor. Yes! Okay, that means we can do all of our driving from not without having to go downstairs again. Okay, that was, um... That's done. Let's get out of here. What I see over there, I see something red that we can rip the cabling out of. Let's go.
Uh, that looks icy and dangerous. Let's maybe stick around the edges for a bit in case that ice gives way. And immediately get stuck. Great. Yeah, let's go across the ice and see if it does that weird crackling noise. I think that should be sufficient cabling. Now we'll just go over to... Where was it? I could see one out of the corner of my eye over that direction that we'd already raided, which means there's probably... That's probably where the village is that we were... Whoop. Yeah, there's a tower over there, and there's no lights coming out of it. That means it's probably one of the early ones. Yeah, we've already raided that one, and that's probably where we probably where we came ashore. We were quite lucky. We came in right beside this village, which gave us everything we needed. Oh. That's enough of that. Now, generator is down there. And we've got a spare ski dude in there. Right, let's extend this on and see what else is uh, available inside this town. Well, hello there, cabling. We would like to extend you even further. Uh, which one do you go to? Probably this one first. Great. Nothing much. Oh, wonderful as that was. Let's just cross. Oh, fine. Okay, we'll head that direction. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Perfect. Then... over there? Gotta be, right? That kid Detto is really smart. Using material we salvaged, he was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too, but uh, uh, he doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to Henry. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. <sighs> I think I need to do something. Yeah. Maybe what you should do is seek the help, the help of a medical professional. Oh yeah, it's an apocalypse, never mind. If I hadn't known how much good healing salve was going to be lying around here, I might not have went back and got those cluckers. Ah, this feels like we wasted some time. Well, never mind. Uh, that is the medical wing, and that was very profitable. Let's continue this on. How many more cables do we have? Eight. Never mind, we're good for a while now. Let's start dragging this one on. Next. Uh, can this be dragged on? Yes, it can. Ooh, jackpot and supplies. Uh, pictures of the staff we don't care about and cups and plates. Not really feeling it. I feel like I should go back to the boat and maybe drop off some gunk. We also have some blueprints. We don't need to carry back these blueprints, but I feel bad just leaving them behind. They're, they're nice blueprints. I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to pop back to the boat real quick and uh, drop off all of this loot. We were actually just right around the corner. That was actually super convenient. I wonder if we can take this ski do with us. We should try driving it onto the boat when we're leaving. Oof. I am so glad they included the ski -doos. It makes traveling around so much faster. Whoop. I may bounce off a few things, but at least the damn thing doesn't explode. Yet. I figure after that polar bear made it do a 180 degree flip, or 180 flip in the air, should be fine. They should be almost indestructible. Advanced biofuel refiner. That should be useful. Okay, below torch? Huh. What are we going to need a below torch for? Yeah. Interesting. I think we strip mine the place. For a place in the Arctic, it sure has a lot of glass. I really thought they would have wanted with something with better insulatory materials. Or okay, uh, where do we need the next cable to go? Or is that it? I think that's it. The biofuel refinery was the last thing we needed out of that, and all the extra cables were unnecessary. The five spares we brought with us. So, uh, suppose let's keep exploring. Oh yeah, there was those lights that we had to go check out. 
there they are. Ooh. Is it cave to it? No, no, no. Let's keep focused on that stuff up ahead. And try and figure out if there's a way up there. Gotta be, right? That looks semi like a road. Nice. Let's go. Like it, love. Okay, research facility. Use one blowtorch. Okay. Use the key we got. Perfect. Is there any going to be any polar bears that tried to kill us immediately? Nope. Okay then. Wait, is this the place where the mutagenic stuff that's turning all the rats into feral monsters comes from? Warning. Reactor malfunction. Oh. Insert control rods. Yeah, that, that's gonna I be am bad. Called Sparrow. Whoever finds this, know that I held humanity's interest first. Always. I was sent to Celine alongside two colleagues, one of which I discovered was a mole by the investors. Had Owl been allowed to come to Celine, the knowledge of this unlimited green energy would have been monopolized by the same people who caused this mess to begin with. The other colleague I left behind. I did not trust you, Kaku. I couldn't. It was too much of a risk. I hope... Okay, well, we got our... Oh my god, I love this. We've got a radioactive proof suit on and we're holding a bow and arrow. Well, it is what it is. Uh, what do we got in here? Is there a time limit on this suit? I really should check if we have to go get a replacement one after a while. Anyone in here? Well, if they were, they'd be very dead. Okay, still not finding what we're looking for, are we? How about in here? Is there... Oh. Well, that's a problem. We need codes. C... Uh, damn it. Siri... Okay, C-I. Hmm. Platinum... Yeah, okay, okay. So there's these things on the walls. I need to find these control consoles and then input the codes related to them. So, or B... Damn it, I don't know my periodic tables, okay? And I'm not gonna open up the internet and find out, because that's not fair. Uh, sodium. And my suit is about to wear out, so we need to get out of here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that suit at the bottom there, it's almost done. Ah, okay. Done. Rightio, so I need to start making notes. You are RB. So, PM is 61, CA is 20, uh, TIN is 50, or sorry, C CL is 17, SN is 50. Well, there's a lot of codes everywhere. God, okay, fine. Then, have we tried this room? Nope. Uh, other room. Ew, what have we got in here? Where's the posters? We've got sodium. So, NA11 and Orby 37. So, that means we actually have the correct code for this one over here. You are 37. Exit. I need to go back up and refresh the suit as well. Uh, you are CI or CL? You know what? We're going to try 17. Perfect. And... That's HG80 and CE58. I'm writing these down in a notepad because, yeah, my memory's not that good. Okay, we've got those two done. Let's go back up and refresh our suit real quick so we don't accidentally get ourselves killed. Okay, how many of these consoles do we have? Or me, you are... Damn it, 37. Uh, in here we got CL, which is 17. And then... In here, we got PM, which is 61. Whew. Done. Okay. And we're through the toxic area? 
If we have to go back through there, though, after the suit wears off, things are going to get really awkward. Uh, you are control rod. Excellent. Where the hell are we? Huh. Equip hazmat suit again. I think we will take a quick refresher. Let me just have a quick check gander around here, see if there's anything worth nabbing. You know, for an experimental nuclear reactor of some sort, they seem to leave an awful lot of cooked meats just lying about the place. I'm not saying I'm against it, it just seems uh, unusual. Alright, through here? Yeah, oh great. More toxic junk. All the way to the end. There's a rat that just dropped to the left of us, isn't it? Thank you. Oh. Seriously? Okay. They're all dead. This is going to take a while. Come on. Done. Okay, that was... Okay, slightly more painful for my character, but less painful for me mentally. Okay then, we're through. Next level. Oh, great, more bugs. Uh, control rods and thingies. There needs to be another hazmat suit soon, or we're going to end up in trouble. But we've got two of the three control rods we need. What are you? Don't look directly into the laser. Huh. Hold to rotate smoothly. Okay. So, oh. Do we need to blast through this? We need to shine the laser at this thing, which then bounces it over to these things. Uh, you, and you, and you. You're all good, but this one is the last one that rotates. So we need to bounce you towards there. Eh. Let's just try it and see what happens. Okay. Ow. Oh, I can see it there on the left-hand side. Excellent. Oh, and there's a token. Only a little bit of laser damage. Now remember, don't look directly into the lasers. You can lose your vision and stuff. <laughs> the, the fact we, we should be so dead. Okay, let's do this. Oh, great. Well, we'll just turn it on now and see what happens, okay? Or to rotate smoothly. You want to be rotated over there? Here you go. Oh. No, you do not want to be rotated over there. You want to be rotated back over that direction? Oop. Huh. There, maybe? Yep, that seems better. Uh, you need to be rotated a bit as well. Oh. Ow. Sorry about that. Oh. oh, we can't rotate this guy. So that means we need to rotate this one again. Uh, our options here are limited quite a bit. We can't hit that over there from here. So how do we bounce these? Or... Can we do it that way? Huh. Yeah, that seems to be working. That should be about right. And we're going to want to reflect that into the mirror over there. Ah, problem solved. Only took up way too much of my time. 
And gotcha, gotcha. Control the Selene facility was built for one purpose. Master and perfect the experimental reactors used to power the floating cities. No easy task, but it has been done. In theory. Yet, we do not have the people to construct anything but a basic prototype. It can be built for real, I know it. We just need more people. There's a place where the rafters live in peace. Manually insert the control rods, which means we gotta kill a bunch of bugs. Literally. Ooh. Shiny. Where are ya? Hey, bugs. Your damage potential is very low. Where's the last one? How are you not dead yet? Oh yeah. Done, done, and done. Is that where we came in? Excellent. Quick hazmat refresh. I think it's really necessary, but better safe than sorry. What the? Yeah. These guys do absolutely pathetic damage on this difficulty level. I mean, it's just normal, but I assume they'd be a little bit more dangerous than this. Is that it? And I think that's one. Yeah, I think my machete just broke. Now, I did bring extra arrows, or an extra bow, just in case. Uh, I have a strange feeling we're gonna need it. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a lot of them. You know what, your damage is so pathetically low, I'm gonna ignore you. Perfect. And we'll apply some of that healing salve. Does that work? No idea. We'll go back outside and apply it. Okay. Took a little time to kill them all, but that was fine. So, my thinking this time around. One, uh, try out the healing salve again. Oh, that actually works quite well. Eh, let's feed up, water up, get our bow out, and all we have to do, go to the last thing, machine gun the bow a bit, and we should be able to get the last one done. Come on, come on! And... Done. Okay, that killed all the bugs as well, did it? Excellent! Right, so basically machine gun the bugs with the bow and then take care of it. That was probably the faster and simpler way to do it. I should have done that the first time. And I Excuse me while I go pick up all of this free meat. Well, this appears to have opened a new door. Or has it opened two new doors? Or is that just a... Ah, damn it, never mind, it's a window. Okay, so this door here is now open, and I think that's the one we came in? Or no, that's the one we tried before and left because it was too radioactive. Ooh. 
There is someone kept alive in cryostasis. Looks like we've got ourselves a new crew member. If we decide to open it. Electric smelter. Eh. And you are note for the next location of Utopia. Finally! All the tokens. Dun dun dun. And I think that's it. Yeah. Right. Let's defrost them. <coughs> Wonderful dismount. Good morning. You're not... Oh, I get it. They left me here. Wow. Thanks for waking me up. Long-term cryosleep can result in a number of issues. <laughs> Speed it along, buddy. So, you got room for a bioengineer? I swear, it's actually practical. Ah. Great! That's very nice of you. I'll do my best. Yeah, wonderful. So, we've got a new recruit that will do nothing. Let's get out of here. So, to be clear, our character has access to, well, a actual, you know, nice place with all sorts of power and things, and we're just gonna leave it? Feels kind of wrong. Okay, I think we've explored everywhere, though. That's the... Oh, observatory we went to. That's... Oh, is that the village? With tunnels? Is tunnels at the village? Hmm. No, nope, nope, nope. We've got everything we want. We've got the Utopia number. Let's get out of here. You gotta admit, though, hazmat suit looks pretty awesome sauce. Also makes it look like we're less likely to freeze to death out here. Ooh, I wonder if driving in this is easier third person. It actually might be. Well, let's head back to the raft. We've got everything we need from here. Ah, never mind. We're back to being, you know, dead. That's... You cannot. You cannot dress like that and, and live in this environment. It's just not a thing. Oop. Brakes. There's the raft. Perfect. Now let's see if we can't get on board. Okay. Dead eight. Like a glove. Excellent parking job. We will probably need at some point to make a parking garage for it, but uh, that'll do for now. Right then. I remembered where the tunnels were. I was just about to leave and I thought, I remember this area over here. We tried to go down and have a look inside and we couldn't because there was all that green gas. That green gas belonging to the reactor. And I'd never found out what was down there afterwards. So let's have a quick go see. Uh, yeah, there's scrap and stuff. Ooh, what have you got for us? Titanium ore? Yes, please. Oh. Okay, not the worst. I mean, I'll do pretty much anything for titanium. Yeah, more titanium ore. Okay, so this is where they keep all the good stuff. Got it. Well, looks like that was it. I I'm not sure it was... Maybe wrong. Four titanium's good. Just, uh... I was kind of expecting a bit more for having come all the way back here. I suppose maybe they expect you to stop by on your way back to your raft, or maybe they expect you to do the nuclear reactor first. Actually, I think the nuclear reactor is completely independent from this. As in, you could do the entire reactor section and not have done any of this. Hmm. Doesn't make any sense that way. Whoop. Oh, that's a crunch noise. Let's go see if we can get a good parking job on this one, too. I mean, what's better than having one ski do? Having two. Oop, oop, oop. Perfect. That seems like a perfect parking job. Just look at that stuff. You. Oh. It can't move. Hey, it is a quick way to teleport up above. How about you? Hmm. Interesting. They might be permanent additions to the raft. If so, I'm okay with that. Before we head on out of here, though, a couple of research things we need doing. Advanced stationary anchor. Yes, advanced biofuel refiner. Electric smelter. Can smelt ore, sand, and seaweed with electricity. This might... You know what? We got the wood. I don't really care. So I think the advanced biofuel refinery, yes. Advanced stationary anchor, yes. Electric smelter, eh, maybe? I suppose it really depends on how expensive they are. Uh, smelters cost six titanium ingots. I mean, I'm not really that pushed, to be honest. Eh, we'll ignore them. 
The advanced biofuel refinery, not too bad. Eight metal ingots, six titanium ingots. Considering you're only gonna need one of them, this seems very reasonable. It's just the smelters, you're gonna need more than one if you wanna do anything with them. Uh, you can go actually here for the time being. Uh, let's see where we're placing you. There looks to be a pipe I'd put on that. Actually, let's just place it down and see. Yeah, there's a pipe I'd put right there. Uh, you can put in raw potatoes. Okay, so your flip raw potatoes. Where's the honey go? Ah, so honey goes in here, potatoes go in there. And then it outputs it into this tank. Can we actually fill that tank with biofuel? I have made a lot of biofuel. Uh, that's probably way too much, but if we could... The thing is, if we can't dump that into this... Uh, damn it. That means all of that stuff is wasted. We'll have to manually put it into a tank somewhere. Hmm. Like this thing can hold about four jars of biofuel. Which reminds me I should top it up a little bit. You can see here on the back of it. So two of them are like about three to four jars of biofuel is the maximum that thing can hold. I don't want to waste all that stuff by making this one, but... Still gonna do it. All right, let's get this plugged in. I think I've drained most of the... Yeah, I think I've drained everything out of these. And I'm pretty sure we don't get it back, though. Yeah, could have left anything in there. Okay, you... Uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, that way. Perfect, then we can pipe it up through here. I need to go make some fuel pipes. So, one there. One there. And I think this has got to go, right? Perfect. And then I suppose if we just deconstruct this and plop it back. Excellent. All right. Now I have a few more ideas. The thing is, we've got all of this spare biofuel. I'd like to use it. So I made ourselves a couple of spare tanks. Uh, you there. Nice. Now, where is the rest going to go? Maybe... I think we can do some dual level stuff. In fact, now that's looking pretty sweet. We're getting to use the back end of this to store those three tanks there, plus another... That's like five tanks of biofuel. Oh, we should probably hook this one up to the system as well. And now let's fill them all up. Why not? We should have the space, right? Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay... Oh, and uh, for people to get up there, it's not super convenient, but you can just set a hop over here and win this section. And three for you, three for you, and three for you. I think that's enough. I mean, the thing is, we don't really care too much. And uh, that's... Like, we don't really need to turn this on just yet, is what I'm trying to say. Does that thing take a battery? I don't think it does. You just dump in the honey and the raw materials. We don't need to care about that just yet. We'll wait until we've gone through some of our backlog. We have a lot of backlog. Right. That leaves us with the anchor. That was it. We've got that all in our general purpose construction chest. We keep a little bit of smattering of everything in here, so we just pop over and we're done. And I should probably move out one of that dirt. It's just taking up a vital slot that could be used with something else. Anyway, advanced stationary anchor. Excellent. Now let's see how we install this sucker. Well, that looks... Very similar to our old one. Will it actually fit in here, though? Or should we just make a new location for it? I suppose it doesn't matter. Since this is going to work with our automation system up above, we can kind of chuck this in anywhere we want. Uh, sure. Let's do right here. Uh, okay, maybe not anywhere. Huh. Weird. Occasionally this thing sort of just turns green here. I don't know why. I think what I'm going to do is just get rid of that pillar. If I can get rid of that pillar without collapsing the ship, that might be a start. I just need to get some reinforcements under it first. A few beams, which is going to require some nails and a little bit of wood. Then we just do one there. Oop. Nope. One there. And one there. Come on. Can we get another one? Why won't you go there? Ah, there we go. Perfect. I still don't get why that one wouldn't go in. Strangely enough. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Now that should provide support, even though we're going to remove this. So, um... 
Uh. Ooh. Okie dokie. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, come on. Seriously? Why? Is it like a height thing? Do you need more clearance? Modifications were made. It turns out this thing needs one and a half stories in height, which means we couldn't fit it under a raft. Would have had to raise up a raft another few chunks, or we'd have to raise up a big chunk in the middle of a raft. No, it was it was not worth it. Now, you can go. Let's uh, let's try the automated anchor lowering thing. You chocks away, and done. Okay, that means we can get rid of this one. But we're not filling in the hole. The thing is, those holes actually... Oh, this has been asked. Only the bottom rows of the ship actually count for engines. So the engine only needs to push the bottom stuff. You can build a giant fortress, like a strata fortress sized thing on top of a small platform on the bottom, and it will only count the bottom stuff. So if we could build this thing 10 stories high, it'd still only show 197 tiles on the bottom. Time to head out. Crank up the engines, put them in reverse, raise the anchor, and we get out of there. I've already updated our little tracker system to 4986, heading to Utopia, which appears to be very far to our left. We're going to have to reverse back a lot. This landmass is kind of, well, huge. So you, yeah, let's rotate all the way around. Where are you? Goes back there. That means we're going to have to do a lot. Oh, God, a lot of backtracking. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a lot of... There is an awful lot of mass in front of us, so this could take a while. Eh, full steam ahead. I was thinking what we could do is move that anchor all the way to the rear of the ship. We could extend a little anchor platform off the back end of the ship, and that would look an awful lot neater. But that would require time, effort, and just, like, do we really care? Do people actually care that much? If enough people care, I'll do it, but uh, I just am quite happy with the fact that it works. All right, you. Let's turn this around. Oh, good. I can see that land out of the corner of my eye. We're going to have to skirt this for a while, aren't we? Anyway, I think this has been a rather successful day. We've got all the resources we needed. We grabbed the extra blueprints we wanted. We're pretty much automated on all fronts. Uh, Skyrat. We've also got our hands on, well, an awful lot of biofuel refinement process, and all those extra tanks do make me feel better. Like, I don't know why I put, didn't put in all of those tanks earlier. I don't know which one it's going to burn from first. Or if it's going to actually draw from all of them evenly. If it draws from all of them evenly, that would be a bit strange. Eh, whatever. It'll probably take it about an hour to drain all of those one way or the other. There we go. End game dead ahead. 1600 meters, that's the last mission, I believe. Utopia is the end game. We have got ourselves well equipped. We also have a second stockpile of weapons just ready to go in case anything goes wrong. We have... Well, plenty of eggs to make lots of healing salve. We're only going to carry about five on us in case we die. I've been warned death is a distinct possibility and, in fact, almost a certainty in the last level. So we're going to have to plan for, well, losing all our gear and having to replace it. So anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Uh, next up, Utopia. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.